Eh hey, yenyama tujitunde nkumi nyamo kwano. Kinyewa cha 35 mami. Aida na Bukenya runs a small restaurant at Karerwe. It's about 10 years since Nabu Kenya started this business. Nakota ya stoke yari kugumu kitundu kati yesata. Mchere gwa nagula nge nkumi ya bilichiro kati nkumi nya. The many Ugandans involved in the informal sector like Aida Nabu Kenya, the residents of Karerwe, are eagerly waiting to hear from the 2017-2018 financial year budget and whether government will address their concerns like the ever-increasing prices of goods and services. After examining the budget proposals, a civil society organization development initiatives argues that the 29 trillion shillings budget is not pro poor. If we ask Ugandan, would investments in this high-cost infrastructure be the best way to go in terms of infrastructure? It would be yes or no, but generally in a proper angle I would say you would invest, for example, prioritize investments in uh, roads that uh, mean more to the poor, let's say rural roads, district roads, that connect uh, farmers to the market. Uh, me that one is proper. According to the budget, 14.7 trillion shillings is expected to be collected domestically. In order to meet its objectives, government will have to borrow both locally and externally. Who is financing the increase? Now much of the increase is going to be financed through increased domestic borrowing. And of course some bit of it through external finance. Now if you talk about increasing domestic borrowing, there is a risk that you are going to increase interest rates. And now you are going to put the government competing with private sector players or actors for the same source. Of, for the same source. Analysts add that the excessive borrowing by government will push the interest rates high, hence making it difficult for people like Nabu Kenya to finance a loan to run a business. If I can't access loans at a uh, good rate because the interest rates have gone high, because the government is borrowing more, then I think uh, you're, kind of, you're kind of pushing me out of business. They are calling for a comprehensive plan to combat corruption if the ever swearing budget is to benefit a proper Ugandans. We have made tremendous progress, which I agree. But where has that progress come from? Uh, drought has become more rampant. There are more longer prolonged dry spells that are affecting uh, crop production. Uh, sectors like uh, the coffee sector has been badly affected, which is among uh, our major exports. Now at this rate, uh, I see that uh, many people who have moved out of poverty in the past are likely to drop back if this windfall disappears. The education sector will receive a slight increment, but according to analysts, government priorities in the sector seem not to be aligned with the majority of Ugandans. There are kids that go to school, in private schools in this country, and uh, right from there, after school, you see people paying over 500,000 shillings, something over 1 million for the same levels. Then you ask yourself, is that 10,000 or 41,000 going to help support the scholastic materials and other needs of the, of the kids? Then looking at the recent... Uh... Jingo Francis, NTV.